What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla SPY and the overall market. But just note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Moomoo link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit 1000 bucks, you're guaranteed 15 in total, not to mention an 8.1% APY on uninvested cash. The offer ends very soon, in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, Ford Tesla are doing a good job at holding up so far alongside the overall market. The market is trying to push approaching the election. This is a little bit different from what I was predicting. I actually thought we might see a bigger reaction after the election. But instead, we are pushing approaching and there could be another bigger reaction once the election results come out. So it's basically both before the election we're pushing and then after the election there should still be another big move. And as of right now, the market is favoring the upside as a more probable case. So what happened with our data? We basically got the ISM services report. The PMI report was better than expected, and the services data was looking quite decent. New orders were quite well as well, so not looking too bad. And that is, once again, what helped the market push a little bit. On top of this, we are approaching the election, so there is some excitement approaching, a little bit more positive uh, anticipation for today. We'll see if this continues going into tomorrow or not, so hopefully we see some kind of winner. Now, there were some things said by Elon Musk. Musk has said that it's pointless to build a $25,000 Tesla for human drivers. And the reason he says that is because he's very forward-looking. Now, many people could disagree and think that, oh, we need a $25,000 EV. It will make it a lot more competitive in China. And yes, I do agree with that. I think that Tesla would have greatly benefited if they had a more affordable EV like that. However, the issue is Elon Musk doesn't see things in the same way because he's looking at the future and he's more forward-looking in a way where he believes that uh, the robotaxi and self-driving is going to be basically trumping this. And it's going to be a lot more bullish because it's going to generate a lot more revenue quickly for Tesla. So that from a business standpoint, if a lot of like the projections of Kathy Wood and the prediction of the robotaxi generating a lot of revenue does end up coming true, then that makes it basically worth it. It makes it worth it, basically. So his point would be correct. If he's saying that it's pointless to build a $25,000 EV for human drivers, if it's more profitable to just focus on AI and then you know self-driving in its, in its totality uh, to make autonomous driving a lot more, uh, I would say, lucrative. So in that case, it makes a lot more sense. So do I agree with him 110%? Uh, I can't necessarily say that because it depends on how quick Tesla could really achieve this uh, you know, fully autonomous technology. How many years does it take? Will it happen as soon as like one or two years? Or will it take at least four or five? It all depends. But ultimately, uh, I do personally believe that it would have been more beneficial for Tesla for the short term if they had gotten a $25,000 EV that is driven by you know actual humans. But for the longer term, assuming that they are able to launch some kind of autonomous technology over the next few years, uh, and then they do have a robotax that's fully functional. For the longer term, it's more profitable and actually a lot better for them to have a $25,000 EV that's just driven. It's, it's basically humanless. Uh, that would be a lot more bullish because it would bring in a lot more revenue. And then prioritizing that would be better for them for the long term. So that's what my view basically is. Um, do I believe Tesla will achieve this? I think the answer is yes, they will achieve it. I'm just, like I said before, I'm just not sure about the time frame of it because Elon Musk's promises and his dates are not always accurate, not always 100% correct. So just wanted to call that out. Also, I want to mention that there is some news coming out about how in Germany, Tesla is basically raising the wages, <laughs> excuse me, raising the wages of all its employees at the German Giga factory by about 4% since the start of November. That is some good news, at least for those employees who, in my personal opinion, do deserve uh, not only good pay, but, you know, a lot of great benefits uh, from working from Tesla. Uh, it is a very, very demanding job. So these increases are just part of the negotiations that were going on. And with that being said, guys, they employ about 12,000 people in total. So that is a big news for them. Just want to give that a little bit of attention as well. So that being said, what do I see for the share prices for the stock market? What's going on with the way that we are moving? Right now, the share prices look more bullish. Tesla needs to lose uh, basically 250 near our 20 EMA to turn back down. As long as we're above 250, we're favoring a pushback up for 255. That's a potential target. Then we have this imbalance up here all the way up towards 258. Eventually, 262 is going to be our next target above that. So those are some levels to watch for. Now, if we do get a Harris victory, be a little bit more careful with Tesla because Musk is endorsing one spe specific candidate. He's endorsing Trump. 
So that's why it could make things a little bit more complicated. If Trump does win, though, Tesla is going to explode and we're going to be easily going to the 260s. We'll have to see what happens with that. As of right now, Tesla does look more bullish, so it is favoring upside. We'll see how things go. Now, is it possible we run even if Harris were to win? I mean, technically it's possible, but it's not going to run as hard and it's not looking as probable because of... Once again, Musk is you know supporting Trump, so we'll just have to see about that. But then again, guys, just be open-minded to anything. Technically speaking, we look more bullish, and we'll see who wins, which will ultimately affect Tesla. For SPY, we look very bullish. We started off with a bit of a dip. We dipped all the way down to about 570, coming very short of this gap, though, only to get a big bounce. We also have this gap to fill on the forever and also on the daily time frame, which would take us up to about 578 to 580. So there's still plenty of room for more upside, guys. And I'm thinking that now we might actually push to fill that gap. Now, it depends on the election. Uh, but despite that, I still think the market's going to try to push. I and mean, we could be looking for an attempt to get back up to 580. If we lose 573.5, though, we could turn back down. But this is still favoring upside. For ES, we're also favoring upside. We're looking for a target of about 5,800. I think there's a very, very good chance we attempt to get all the way back up there. So just keep that in mind, guys. There's most of the potential in ES as well. So it is looking more bullish as long as we don't lose 5780. Uh, we are still favoring the upwards direction. So we remain more bullish. The bulls have a bigger edge. And so far, it's looking quite good for them. For others out there, such as NVIDIA, we saw some consolidation in the morning only to get bought back up. So now we're back to bullish. We're looking for 140 as our target to see if that breaks or not. If it does break, we're basically looking for an attempt to get back up to 142, not too far from all time highs. So 142 is our target if that breaks. Bitcoin is trying to push. Don't forget that it depends on who wins. If we do get a Trump victory, this is going to pump like crazy. If not, it could be a little bit more complicated. We'll see if it gets a dip or not. But for now, Bitcoin does look like it wants to go up to about 71,000. So give it some time. Looks more bullish to me. NQ is looking more bullish. We're fighting for basically 20,300, which if we break, we're looking for basically 20,500 is our next target. We have a gap to fill all the way up there. If we end up losing 20,220, we turn back down. But so far, this is favoring the upside. For the QQQ, we look more bullish. If we had lost 489.75, we turn back down. As long as we're above support at 491, we're favoring a pushback up for essentially 494 or above. So right now, QQQ is looking more bullish. We're breaking above our upper resistance. We are still favoring upside. We're seeing Apple push. We based at 220. We're trying to push for 224 as our target, looking more bullish. The IWM Rosa 2000 looks more bullish, trying to break out for 223. 223.5 could be a potential target. Looks bullish as we've broken past 220. Meta is trying to rebound, hitting 569 as resistance. 574 is coming next if that breaks. As long as we don't lose 565, we favor upside. Um, for Microsoft, we're pushing for 416. Break that. I'm looking for 414.76 and eventually 416. Break those and we remain more bullish. For Amazon, we're more bullish. We have 200 as a tough resistance. It supports that 194. So far, we're favoring 200. And finally, we have Google trying to push for 172. If that breaks, it depends on who ends up winning the election. So we'll see on that. But so far, so good. I also want to call out the VIX is coming down to fill this gap over here. It's almost fully filled this gap. It could dip a little bit lower. But we'll see what happens with the election. Will the market continue to pump or not? Be very patient, guys. I'm kind of like getting risk off. I'm kind of reducing some positions. So we'll see. We do look more bullish. So there could be a push coming, but then give it the market the time it needs. We will see who ends up winning. As of right now, Tesla looks more bullish. Could be looking for the mid 250s very soon, if not 262. Um, despite the fact that we look bullish, though, be careful with the election coming up. And I'll see you guys in a couple of hours for one more update. Thank you for listening and peace out.